good evening once again um this evening we want to continue with the professional and uh, the national teacher standard um the last time we looked at it we looked at one domain and we looked at professional values and attitude this evening we are going to look at the other two domains of the national teacher standard and we are beginning with professional knowledge that is the second domain of the national teacher standard and under it we have a sub um, aspect as knowledge of educational frameworks and curriculum so under this what the teacher needs to do is one to uh, demonstrate familiarity with the educational um, system or the education system then the key policies that guide the education then have a comprehensive knowledge on the official school curriculum including the learning outcomes and the rest so that is what a teacher need to do then another knowledge that the teacher need to have is the content knowledge the pedagogical knowledge and pedagogical content knowledge for the school and the grade in which the teacher teaches then still under the knowledge of um, educational framework and curriculum under the professional knowledge the teacher um, uh, needs to know the pre-primary and the primary <coughs> um, curriculum aspects of how to handle the multi-grade class then has a good knowledge of how to teach beginning reading numeracy and speaking listening reading and writing and to use at least one Ghanaian language as a medium of communication now let's look at the second aspect under the professional knowledge that is the knowledge of the student you have to have a knowledge of the student so to understand the children development and how they learn in diverse ways or different ways or variety of ways um, and analyze um, your teaching as a teacher you need to analyze your teaching then still under the knowledge of the children the teacher should take account of uh, accounts of and represent or respect the learners culture the linguistic background the economic background the social background and the educational background of um, the learners in the planning of his teaching and learning so you need to have a knowledge on the cultural background of the learners the linguistic background of the learners the social economic background of the learners and the educational background of the learners that is um what the professional knowledge is talking about we have two aspects under it the knowledge of the curriculum framework and or the educational framework and the um, curriculum as well the knowledge of the learners now let's look at the next or the last domain that is very important to um, teaching and learning that is um, professional um, practice professional practice and under this we have three aspects that is managing the teaching environment as a teacher you need to develop various ways or variety of of um, ways to deliver your lessons ensure a clear grasp of 
the intended outcome of your teaching so you have to use variety of um, techniques variety of um, methods or pedagogical knowledge to um, let your children grasp whatever you are teaching then under manage, uh, managing the learning environment you as a teacher need to also carry out a, a small scale research to improve your teaching to improve the learners learning how they are coping with the learning if they have challenges you have to make a small research to see what are some of the things that are contributing to their failures you need to carry out a small research then create a safe encouraging learning environment for the learners to learn Co create a conducive environment a very um, classroom friendly for or learning friendly for the learners to have the opportunity to learn then manage behaviors and learning with a small and a large scale as a teacher you need to manage the behaviors of the children and manage the learning um, environment for a small and a large um, classes then still under professional practice as a teacher what you need to know is to employ variety of instructional strategies that encourages um, students participation and critical thinking as a teacher you need to um, use different um, techniques different strategies to encourage learners participation in your um, lesson drill then pay attention to all learners especially girls and mostly the most disadvantaged children or the special needs children in your classroom delivery of lessons then ensure instructional um, strategies are appropriate for the mixed ability or the multilingual and multi-grade classes multi-grade classes so use um, strategies that are appropriate for these um, grades of learners then set a meaningful tax that encourage learners to collaborate and lead to a, a purposeful or a meaningful learning so as a teacher you need to do all this then that is under the teaching and the learning and the last or last but two um, aspect that the teacher needs to know understand and do is to explain concepts clearly using examples familiar to the learners students or people they are very important then produce and use variety of teaching and learning resources including an ICT to enhance your teaching and learning so these are professional practice or practices that as a teacher you need to employ to help um, get a better learning outcome as a teacher then the last aspect under the professional practice is learning assessment as a teacher you need to assess your learners and get to know them better how they are um, learning and learning difficulties that they are facing you need to um, assess them so integrate variety of assessment moves um, into teaching to support your teaching and learning then listen to the learners and give constructive feedback especially when you assess your learners after that you have to give them a feedback give them feedback immediately after your assessment or after um, taking them through a test then another aspect that a teacher needs to know is to identify and remediate learners difficulties or misconception referring to learners who needs um, who needs uh, or who are having challenges with um, competencies of you as a teacher so you need to 
um, clear these misconceptions and you need to um, help your learners learn very well then keep meaningful records of every learner and communicate their progress so you have to keep meaningful records of learners and con um, communicate this progress to them clearly to um and to the parents as well so while you are communicating you're keeping records of the learners then you are communicating to the learners and you need to also com um, communicate this um uh, progress of the um the learners to their parents or their guidance then demonstrate awareness of a national and the school learning outcomes of the learners so we have the the school learning outcomes then the national as well and you need to um, have um, awareness of this then use objective um, criterion reference to assess your learners to um, get a better feedback from them so these are some of the things that we need to learn as um, professionals or we need to know about the national teacher standard that is these three domains the professional values and attitude professional practice and professional knowledge as these things are very important for us to know please kindly subscribe if you are a new member if you're passing by to kindly subscribe and like the video share it to your friends and we shall meet another time to discuss um an important topic for our promotion exam